I'm going on a little trip today and I am so excited. I feel like a little kid on Christmas morning. I'm just so excited. This day is an absolutely beautiful, sunny, blue sky day. It feels like summer is finally coming to England. It's been a long winter, let me tell you. It's been, it's been difficult. But yeah, I'm going actually in my car. I'm going car camping. I'm so excited for it. I will tell you a little bit more about why I'm going car camping in a bit. I'm only going local and I'm only going for tonight. Um, yeah, but I'll discuss that in a little bit about kind of why and everything. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's go. Let's get going. I have thrown a few bits that I think I'm going to need for the night in my car. And we'll see. It's lunchtime now because it's so nice. I'm going, I'm actually going to kind of a, a local-ish. It's not that far away from me. Um, beach. I'm going to hopefully go on like a nice little beach walk. <laughs> We are here, we're at our destination, we're at Crosby Seafront. There's like a little, just where I've parked up, there's a little kind of park area and then there's um, the beach and the sea. So we're going to go on a little walk. Before that, I'll just show you what I have brought with me. I, I'm pretty positive that I haven't brought um, everything I'm going to need. Partly why I'm just doing this for one night is to, well, hopefully I'm going to end up doing it. I, I, who knows, I might, it may get to this evening and I feel like I don't, I'm not comfortable with it. But anyway, um, what I have brought with me, I've just got my duvet and pillow back there. Um, I bought these kind of like curtain things that go, um, my plan is to sleep in the back, on the back seats. So I've got some curtains that go on the windows and kind of between the front and the back that I'm gonna see if they work and then I've also brought let me go to the boot because I've got everything else in the boot it's a bit of a mess I've just literally thrown it in but I've got my Udi in case it's cold at night I'm not sure what the temperatures are I assume it'll be pretty chilly um I have this this isn't mine this is my sister's that she has kindly lent me um Hopefully it's all charged up and everything, but it's a big like battery, portable big battery thing. I've got like my electric, this is a bag that I'm just carrying around with me constantly anyway, like back from my house to my sister's house and with the um, renovations that are going on in the house. Um, but I've just got like some electronics and things in there. And then this bag has some food and drink. I think it's got some toilet roll. All sorted, got a little bag of stuff. And let's go on this little walk. Look at these gardens. They're so nice. So what I said before about the being just that little park and then the beach. I was a little bit wrong. I've parked further down the coast than I thought. There's Marine Lake and then there's the beach. Oh my goodness, but this is so lovely. The houses as well here at Crosby. I love the houses. Maybe I'll show you them in a little bit. You may have heard of Crosby. It's a, a beach in Liverpool, Merseyside. And it's where Anthony Gormley I think is his name. It's where the, the iron statues are. Hopefully we'll uh, we'll see them in a little bit. Oh, listen to all those birds. Can you see them? They're noisy. Here's Crosby Beach. You might be able to maybe notice some still figures out there. They are the iron figures. Oh, this is it actually. 
Another place is an artwork by Sir Anthony Gormley featuring a hundred cast iron figures spread out along three kilometres of the foreshore. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for a day like this. I think I get really miserable and depressed in the winter. And now, just coming out here, I feel so much better. One thing I'm realising that I didn't bring, which is kind of a little bit irrelevant to car camping, but not really, if I'm going to do it again, I've just brought my little, um, what's it called, like bum baggy thing with me, and I should have brought a bit of a bigger rucksack so I could have brought my drink with me, my water, and probably my lunch as well, because it is lunchtime, but that's all right. Lesson learnt. The um, iron figure here, buried up to his belly. This guy's buried even deeper. This stretch of coastline, oh, I love it. It's, I think it's about 22 miles long, this stretch. You often see like the container ships going past. There's a wind farm out there as well. You might just be able to make it out. A little bit kind of hazy today but on clearer days you can see well you can see the Wirral there and you can quite often see um, North Wales as well. I think I'm gonna go in off the beach here and see there's like this big building. I'm gonna see what it is. Oh, it's a leisure centre. The building has a pool in there. Hang on, I'm coming completely off the beach. I want to see if I can head back maybe to the sand dunes. If I can get round here maybe, let's see. Oh yes, here we go. Well, that was a really nice walk. Oh. Fresh sea air, I love it. I'm just back at the car and I'm just grabbing a sandwich and I'm gonna go and sit in the park, just there, and eat my sandwich. I've got quite a few sandwiches, I just grabbed them. I did um, a Too Good To Go yesterday, I think it was, was it the day before? It was yesterday, um, and got loads of sandwiches. If you don't know what Too Good To Go is, it's an app where uh, restaurants and supermarkets and things, like at the end of their trading hours, they kind of sell off their surplus food in like a little bag or something and I got one from the local university and it was like a vegetarian you can never get vegetarian ones so it was really nice to get like a vegetarian bag from like their little corner shop thing that they have on the university campus and I got like I think it was like three pound for four sandwiches or wraps and then like a falafel salad thing so that was a really good bargain, so I've brought some of those with me today. I think I'm going to go for onion bhaji and tomato chutney. It went out of date yesterday, but it will be okay. <laughs> Perfect. Bench in the sun with a view out to the lake. Oh, someone's on the lake there. I think maybe they're supping, rowing. I'm not sure. Oh my goodness, that was such a nice little spot to have my lunch and just to feel the sun on my face. I feel like it's been so, so long. <laughs> a little bit of sun. Um, I'm back in the car, as you can see, and I think I'm just going to drive up the coast a little bit. Um, just have a little explore.
just driven about five minutes or so up the coast and just pulled into this car park. Oh, it's nice, the, the view out to sea. Unfortunately, the car park is paying display, so I'm not going to get out here, but I'm just going to sit here for a little bit. Crack my windows open. Enjoy the sun and the view. Can you see some of the Iron Men down there? They're really in the water, those ones. I'm just making my way to a local Tesco for well, a couple of things. Firstly, toilet. And secondly, some power seats tomorrow because, oh my goodness, all of a sudden I've got this throbbing pain behind my eyes and like down my neck. It's horrendous. So <laughs> I need power seats tomorrow. Oh, I feel terrible. Right, I've got my power seats tomorrow. I'm just in the car, in Tesco car park. Oh my goodness, it, it's horrendous. It's actually making me feel a little bit sick. But hopefully, I'm just going to sit here for a little bit take these and just see how it goes <laughs> i've just been sitting here just relaxing with my eyes closed for the last sort of 20 minutes or so and yes the power seat model have kicked in my headache's gone and i feel so much better oh that was horrible uh, i'm gonna head back uh to the coast now i'm about eight minutes drive away from where i was before so i'm gonna head back and enjoy the last of the sun it's getting a little bit late and the sun i think the sun sets at about six o'clock so i want to go enjoy it whilst it's still out I found what I think is a really good spot uh, to sleep for the night so I've left the car there and I've also found a perfect little spot to sit I'm just sat on top of a sand dune and I'm just gonna sit here and just watch there's just a dog walkers watch all the dog walkers watch the things go by it's so nice I'm really enjoying myself I guess whilst we're here we can talk a little bit about why car camping um, so if you are new here or you don't know, I do have a converted van that I would normally take out but it is getting some major work done. I haven't had it for quite a few months now. It's kind of cost me a fortune. It's a nightmare. So that was my plan. I'm also having major reno renovation works done on the house and that was my plan um for when the works were being done to kind of sleep in the van and things but that just hasn't worked out <laughs> to plan so the house at the moment is i've just been sleeping there and being at my sister's during the day and it's it's kind of a bit unlivable really um i mean it's been all right just sleeping there but the electricians in at the moment and things are being moved all around and it's just a bit of a nightmare and so i thought i would normally van camp um let's see if car camping can be done i just thought i would give it a go um my plan this is kind of just like an experiment i'm just, like you know I've, I've stayed local to home and just for one night hopefully i stay for one night and um it's just an experiment to see if i feel okay doing it see if it is doable for me and if it is i can maybe go a little bit further afield which is a very exciting prospect so this is a little experiment to see if it can be done <laughs> well i know it can be done but whether i can do it wow look at this huge cargo ship or whatever they're called coming around it's pretty cool sitting here watching the ships like quite a few small ones have gone past like the docks are pretty unsightly but it's cool sitting watching them go past one just over there as well coming in oh look at this where I'm sat I just found 40p nice I'm heading back to the car now my plan was to stay there a little bit longer till the sun kind of went down a bit more but Honestly, it's pretty chilly. <laughs> My hands are really quite cold. But I think it's probably a, a sensible idea. 
head back to the car and kind of figure out my kind of set up for the night I guess. So this is where I've parked the car. I think it might work. It would be nice in the morning to be able to come down. Oh, I want to get the car set up and then go back out there. So whilst it's still light out, it's a good idea to come back actually whilst it's still light out. I want to like figure these out. I did put them on at home and have a little go. They weren't wonderful in all honesty. What I'm going to do, what they do is they kind of hook on this little bit of your car here. The, the back and the front. One goes along the window there and then one goes across. And then obviously another one across this window. The biggest problem I'm noticing is that there's these uh, like ties on them that I assume are for hanging on, you know, the handle things that you usually have. But my car doesn't have them. So I don't know what to do about that. So I kind of solved it by cracking the window open and then closing it back up on itself. I mean, there's a little bit of light coming through. And that's probably as good as I can get it. It's not ideal, to be honest. I think I need something better. I found a problem with my spot. I've just been trying to figure out how to um, turn the child locks off on these back doors because I want to be able to get out of them. <laughs> and um, I have no signal. I've just been Google or trying to Google how to do it and nothing is working. I have one bar, it says, but it's not happening. And I don't feel comfortable staying somewhere where I haven't got any signal. So, time to move. There's another little road, just like this one, that I saw when I was on the beach, like just over there. So I'm going to see if it's any better over there. All right, take two. Let's see if we've got some signal here car seat it says i've got 5g two bars of fat oh yes it's working i've got a signal this could be a good spot my thinking of a spot is you know obviously not to be like outside someone's house um i like this spot because it's right next to a wall um and i think it's probably going to be quite quiet the signal was better on the beach. I had good signal on the beach. <laughs> no, no signal. One bar of 4G now. It's dropped. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. Where can we go? I might try. I might go back to where I parked earlier on today when I first arrived. I feel like there was good signal there. Although it's a little bit open and it's quite like it's quite a busy road. We can go and look. Let's go and see. Okay, take three. Let's see. I think this might be good. It's quite a good spot, actually. I'm not by a wall or anything. Um, and there is a house over that way, but houses but i think it might be all right this seems like it could work i'm gonna put the window things up quickly and then try and head out for sunset Okay, they're up. I don't know how good they are, but it's all up. I've also just thought that I'm gonna need a wee before I go to sleep. Hmm. I gotta say though, I'm quite impressed. Like from the outside, it just looks like a normal car, like you can't really tell. Oh no. The sun's almost gone, I've taken too long. Let's go and see. Oh look where I am. I'm like literally parked there. And this is the caravan that I was parked behind before. Oh, I kind of missed it. I took too long. <laughs> it's gone.
it's starting to get dark now so I'm gonna head back to the car and kind of settle in for the night I'm a bit nervous I gotta be honest back on the street this is where I'm parked just behind that silver car there I think it's all right another thing I've just realized really important things need to figure out I think I figured it out um, how to make sure the doors are locked from the outside definitely I figured out that these curtains aren't perfect um, I'll show you in a second the, in the middle bit that it just doesn't really work it needs to be higher up I want to grab my wires and things make sure that you know I've got charge on my phone um, and then I'm probably gonna eat some tea another sandwich the toilet thing it's a problem. I did bring with me like a little uh, pot thing that I can weigh in if need be. It's not glamorous, but hey, I guess, you know, not this really isn't that glamorous. Well, you can't really see me because it's pitch black, but I have settled in for the night, got myself all sorted. I am tucked up cosy underneath my duvet, so I am gonna call it here and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It is about six o'clock. I had an okay sleep, but I'm desperate for a wee. The nearest toilet is at a supermarket about uh, eight minutes drive away, so I think I'm gonna have to go. Oh my goodness, I feel so much better. <laughs> I have to go into the toilet. I'm pretty sure that is gonna be my major problem with this whole car camp thing is toileting. But I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna head back to the spot that I was just at to be honest. Because I quite fancy. Well I might see if I can get another hour's sleep. It's only six. Um <coughs> maybe get another hour's sleep or maybe just go for a, like a little beach walk or something, some sunrise beach walk. I'm not sure. I'm gonna head there for now. I figured it was a bit of a silly idea to try and go back to sleep. It's kind of light now, the sun is coming up over there. So I'm, well at the moment, walking through some really wet um, fields and I'm heading to the sand dunes. I figured the sand dunes are just there part of the thing of like car camping is that you can or van camping I guess is that you can you just park up anywhere and then just be wherever in the morning so oh my goodness this is like a bog so <laughs> whoa so I'm gonna head up here I don't know whether I'm gonna go for a little walk or whether I'm just gonna sit down for a bit I don't know but considering it's what like six o'clock in the morning or something it's not that cold at all I'm excited for the warmer weather. Oh my goodness, I'm on the beach. There's nobody here. It's just me and a hundred iron men. This is why I wanted to car camp feelings like this that rather than usually i'd be waking up in my house that's been renovated where i feel just a little bit miserable instead i get to wake up and just walk out onto the beach and oh my goodness it feels wonderful My camera's just died. I'm gonna have to <laughs> plug it in to the battery back at home. I knew it would, it would. It wasn't on full charge when I came out. It's my own fault. There's something about morning, <clears throat> excuse me, morning sea air. It just, oh, it's so fresh and invigorating and oh, I love it. 
it's making me feel quite emotional to be honest i'm not i'm not sure why i think probably why why am i feeling emotional this morning walking along the beach that kind of getting out and exploring and going to different places is something that i love more than anything in the world other than stephen my son i obviously love him more than that but i just absolutely love it and over the winter i haven't done anything at all partly because it's winter and it's naff and I don't really want to do things when it's pouring down with rain and cold and miserable. Um, and partly like the financial element, like this house is obviously costing a busy fortune. I've not been fostering. My arm's hurting, hang on. Um, I've not been fostering for a long time because of the house. And financially, things are quite difficult at the moment. <clears throat> so like going away and doing things hasn't been an option. So actually... Oh, I feel like if I can car camp and go places, oh, I think it will just make me feel so much better. Oh, I feel good this morning. Really good. Despite almost crying, I do feel really good. It is, hang on, what time is it? It is, oh, it's a little bit later than I thought. It's quarter to eight. I've just been relaxing in the back for a little bit with my iPad. Um, my plan is now to head back towards home. I'm only half an hour away from home. Um, I'm actually going to go to the gym. The gym is part of my plan for if I do this for more than one night and go further afield. That the gym I'm a member of, Pure Gym it's called. And I'm a member, the membership I have is just for my local gym. But if I pay something like £4 extra a month I think it is. I can have access to any gyms around the country. So if I was to go further afield, then I would pay that little bit extra and so I can use that for showers. It's obviously another toilet. I can go and work out and things. So yeah, I'm gonna go there now, do a workout, have a shower, and then I'll have a, like a proper think about the benefits and the, the pitfalls of doing this and see if it's something that I wanna do. I think it pretty much is, but I kinda wanna make like a bit of a pros and cons list of it. and any issues that I sort of think that there are, have I got solutions for them? It was definitely a worthwhile thing to do it just for one night close to home so I can figure out any problems and hopefully try to like negate them as much as possible moving forward. All done at the gym and showered and everything ah oh, feels good it's another beautiful beautiful day and i'm sad to be heading home to be honest but that's i've got some things to do at home i've just been sitting making like a big pros and cons and things and like things that i need to think about if i'm gonna do this for more than one night and i'm pretty sure that i'm gonna one thing that i've established i'm so glad i did this like experiment to figure out what's important to me that waking up near toilet is more important to me than waking up where you know, like i stayed near the beach that's lovely to stay near the beach but actually i wake up in the morning and i need the toilet so i'm better to stay nearer to a toilet so i can then just like hop out the car go to the toilet and then i could drive to you know wherever i wanted to be so i think that is a good thing to have established shower i said like having a shower and stuff that's solved by the gym so that's no problem the biggest thing, well not the biggest thing, there's loads of things, but like the small space, like this is not a big car, it's a mocha, it's a reasonably, well it's a medium car, but it's pretty small inside and there's not a lot of space at all. Lying that way across the bed, uh, across, across the back, I can't stretch my legs out, I am quite, like, my legs are bent all through the night. Or I put them kind of down, which isn't a major problem, like I'm okay with it, but it's just a, a thing. If I'm going to be doing it longer than one night, like I did just bring my, I've lost my other bottle, but I just brought this with me. Um, I'd obviously have to bring more water with me 
um although like getting water like the gym solves that a little bit i can fill up my water in the gym but i have got like a big jerry can thing from the van so i could bring that with me maybe water isn't such a big dish deal to be honest I, I drink a lot a lot of water and because i haven't got easy access to toilets i found myself not really drinking that much yesterday so that was a little bit of an issue but i don't know uh power is going to be an issue i have got the big thing that is back here that my sister gave me but this doesn't i don't think i can charge it i'm just charging my camera on it i don't think i can charge it like from the car or anything and it's not a solar powered thing or anything so i couldn't like charge it up it would be nice to have like a, a jackery or something but um it will probably give me enough charge like obviously like my phones and things i can charge whilst like from the car more things like my camera battery or if i wanted to do like video editing on my laptop or something so the power would be an issue for long-term things if i wanted to my laptop or whatever but i don't know whether you can um go to like local libraries and plug in and use your laptop maybe that's the thing i need to look into condensation obviously throughout the night the condensation build up I could crack the windows, but I didn't really want to crack the windows. Well, one, I thought it might be a bit too cold, and two, I haven't got any, like, you'll be able to see that they were cracked. I could get some of those, like, guardrail, not guardrails, but you know those things that, like, over your windows so that you could crack them, but you can't tell they're cracked from the outside, so that potentially is a problem solver. Towel, <laughs> dry my towel at the gym, that was just what I thought, like, where am I going to dry my towel after the gym? I mean, I can just blow blow air on it i guess when i'm driving the car washing like i'm initially thinking of maybe only going like for two nights and things and just try like build i say build up but maybe just go for two nights places and things um so like doing washing and things won't become an issue uh i'll just maybe have to make sure i have like a little bag for like dirty like laundry dirty clothes and have my clean ones somewhere else safety i've figured out the safety stuff of like locking my car I've share, I share my location with um, on the family WhatsApp group so people know where I am. Next week, I'm going to try two nights somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I had such an amazing time. Loved it. I, like I said before, I woke up this morning feeling so fantastic. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have ever car camped, and I realise it's probably not a very common thing that people do, but if you have ever car camped uh, and you've got any tips for me, let me know i'd love to hear about them uh, but thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one where hopefully we're doing a bit more car camping maybe for two nights i'll see you then bye